everyone and welcome to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, I am doing a haul and I have a feeling that this haul is going to be a long one. So be prepared. I've tried some of these things and I haven't tried some of these things. So hopefully I can give you some reviews as well. So the first thing that you're probably noticing about my face today is my crazy eyeshadow look. And that is because I used this baby, the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. And Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I know that some people haven't been raving about it, but I love this palette. Like, and look at this packaging. Like, this is the best packaging that Urban Decay has come out with their naked palettes by far. It just looks so cool and sleek and it has the see-through on the back. It is just, it's so stunning. And you're definitely getting your money's worth, especially with this awesome packaging. And the colors are really pretty too. Now I know this is a smoky eyeshadow palette, but you definitely can create natural looks too. I created kind of a natural bronzy look with this palette too. So there's so much you can do. You can do a natural look or you can do a look that I did today, which is kind of a dramatic purple smoky eye. So you can actually do a lot with this palette. Now speaking of my eye look, I actually will have a tutorial up with the Naked Smoky palette coming up soon. I don't know when I'll be putting the video up, but I definitely wanted to do a tutorial with this palette because I love this palette and it's a great palette, especially for smoky eyes. And then with that Urban Decay Naked palette, I got a little sample of the Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Glosses and it comes in the shades Kinky, Assassin, and Bittersweet. So I can't wait to try those out as well. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something that is super hyped on YouTube because it was made by a YouTuber. And that is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Serenity, made by Manny MUA on YouTube. And I actually just subscribed to his channel in the past couple months and oh my gosh, I have never obsessed over a YouTuber like I have with Manny. And when this came out, I was like, I have to get it. And the other reason that I really wanted to get it is because of the color. It is just the perfect pink brown color. It is the best liquid lipstick color I have encountered. And there is nothing like it in any other liquid lipstick formula. Like it is just, it is fantastic. And I have seen pictures on other people and this literally looks good on everybody. Like on some people it looks nude, on me it kind of looks like a basically a more pinky brown. It just, it looks gorgeous. It looks a little bit different on my lips than it does on my hand swatched. But that's just because this color just looks good on everybody. It's like a magic liquid lipstick. Like it is just so gorgeous. And I am so glad that I got this. And also the formula is really nice. It actually feels pretty good on my lips. It's, I mean, it's still a little bit drying, but it is definitely like one of the best liquid lipstick formulas I have tried. And this was actually my first purchase from Gerard Cosmetics and I was kind of hesitant to purchase from them just because of all the drama. I don't want to go into it, but I am so glad I got this item and I'm glad I just bit the bullet and bought it. And I also um, got a little bit of a discount because I used his code to buy it. So that definitely helped a lot too. So the next few things that I got were actually stuff that I bought on my trip to Florida like over a month ago. I know, crazy, and I didn't do a haul. But I just wanted to show you guys anyways. So one store that I was really excited to see when I was in Florida was Kiko. And if you haven't heard of Kiko, Kiko is a makeup brand based out of Italy. And I actually first heard of Kiko because before I went on my Italy and Greece trip about a year and a half ago, I kind of researched different makeup brands to see if there was any I should go and shop for. And Kiko was kind of the main one that popped up and really the only one that popped up. So I actually uh, went into a Kiko store in Italy, which is really cool, but I am so upset because I didn't buy anything from Kiko when I was there. So when I saw it in Florida, I was like, yes, I'm going in there and buying something. And all of the stuff in Kiko is fairly cheap, so that's really nice. So it's like high quality stuff for a very good price. So the first thing I got was this eyeshadow and it's in the shade 139. All of their stuff is in numbers. So this is what the color looks like and it's just a really pretty like champagne pinky color. It's sort of rose gold, but it's a little bit lighter than a rose gold. It's really, really pretty on the eyes. So that's swatched to my finger. 
and this is it swatched on my hand. It's right below Serenity right here. So it kind of reminds me of Steal a Kitten, but a little bit less intense, but it is just so gorgeous. Now Kiko also had eyeshadows um, that weren't in the pans, but they were for their own system and I wasn't sure if they were magnetic or not. So I ended up getting one in just one of these little pan things right here. I don't necessarily like the packaging. I don't like this plastic kind of sort of sheer see-through cover thing, but the product that is inside of here is amazing quality. So the next couple things I got from Kiko were lip products. And the first thing that I picked up was this pencil lip gloss and it is in the number, what number are you in? 07. And you can see the color is sort of a baby pink color, but it doesn't look like that when it comes out on the pencil. So that's the color of it swatched on my hand right here. So it definitely is a lot darker than it looks at the end of the pencil. Now I tried this and it is a really pretty color and I wanted to get this because it's a pencil lip gloss. Now I know there's a lot of kind of pencil-y type products out there, but I don't know, I was intrigued because it's a lip gloss pencil so it's a little bit different. Now I have tried this so I kind of have a couple of thoughts I have about it, but with this Kiko pencil lip gloss it literally like tastes awful and I'm pretty sure it smells awful too because it tastes like... I don't know, it tastes like really makeup-y, it kind of tastes like silly putty like on your lips. Like I did not like how this tasted and like smelled on my lips. I mean it felt really nice and the color was fairly decent. It's a little bit too light on me. I know it looks really dark on my hand but on my lips it definitely looks more kind of like what it is on the tip. So it's a little bit too light on my lips but if I kind of layered it I think it would look nice but I don't think I could stand that taste of silly putty on my lips. So may, it's okay, but I wouldn't recommend trying this out because of that darn smell slash taste of silly putty. So the last couple things I got at Kiko were lip liners. And if you saw, what video was that? I think it was my June favorites. I mentioned that I didn't have any lip liners and so that changed when I went to Florida and I got a couple lip liners from Kiko and I got two of their different kinds of lip liners so this one is just their normal precision lip pencil and I got it in the color 307 and it's basically kind of a blue toned red color and I wanted to get this lip liner because I have already a few red lipsticks, but I know that they look better with a lip pencil around it. And red lips just look better when around your lips it's just nice and clean, so I thought I would get a lip pencil. And I wasn't really looking for a particular red lip pencil like from MAC or something, so I thought I would try one from Kiko. Like you saw, it's one of those ones that you have to sharpen. So that is the first lip liner that I got. And the next one is their other kind of lip liner. And it is the Automatic Precision Lip Liner. And I got it in the color 502. And so as you can see, it's one that rolls up like that and you can twist it back down. So that is 502 right there. And I wanted to get this lip liner because I thought it would be a dupe for one of those really popular MAC lip liners. And I also just really liked the color too, so I thought I would get it. And as you can see on the other end here, it has a little uh, smudger thing. It kind of is like, I don't know, rubbery, I would say. And then if you pull it out even more, if I can get it, it's a little sharpener too because the pencil is super tiny, so... It need, if it needs if you need a sharpener then it's right there so this is the 502 lip liner and I'll let you know if this is a dupe for anything that I see around I wanted to let you guys know that I was trying to rub the swatches off this hand and literally some of the Kiko lip liners and serenity they're like not coming off and this was after I used the simple micellar water makeup remover and like splashed a little bit of water over it and they are still going strong after that, especially that Serenity liquid lipstick. So the next couple of makeup items that I got in Florida were from MAC. And I wanted to get some stuff from MAC while I was on vacation because there isn't a MAC store around me. And I definitely wanted to go into a MAC store and swatch some things and buy some things. So the first thing that I definitely wanted to get was one of the MAC Dazzle shadows. And this one is in Last Dance. It's basically like a pink sh shiny color. Now I'm kind of upset that I didn't get Boom Boom Room, the 
Manny's talked about and a lot of other YouTubers have talked about, but I just feel like the shadows are kind of okay, so I'm kind of happy I didn't get more, but anyways, here is the finger swatch of it. It was probably not smart to do it on this hand. So here's the swatch of Last Dance. So it looks really pretty and shiny, but when I try to put it on my lids just with a dry brush, it just is like sparkle overload and it's pretty sheer. So if you were to apply this, definitely use like Fix Plus or water or something like that. And then maybe put like a crease eyeshadow underneath it as well because it shows up a lot sheer than it does on my hand right there, even though it looks stunning. So I definitely want to make it work because it looks so pretty, but I'm definitely glad I just got one of these Dazzle shadows. And of course, the next th couple things that I got from MAC were lip products. And I got some lip liners, and these are my very first lip liners that I've owned from MAC. And so the first one I'm going to show you is Dervish, and it's kind of a mauvey pink color. There was actually one time that I went into MAC and Nordstrom's and swatched just all of those mauvey pink lip liners, those Kylie Jenner lip liners, and Dervish was actually the one that kind of stood out to me the most, so I definitely wanted to get it when I was in a Mac store, and so that is what Dervish looks like right there. I think it would be just really pretty if you applied it all over the lips with a clear lip gloss or lip balm. I just think this would look really pretty on its own as well. And then the next lip liner I got is called Edge to Edge, and it's sort of a rosy mauvey pink color. And this is the swatch right here. So it's definitely kind of that dusty mauvey rose color. And that was actually a color that was suggested me when I asked for Soar. And that was kind of one of their suggestions. So it's definitely sort of in that mauvey pink range, but it's definitely more on the pink side. So if that's what you're looking for, then I would definitely suggest Edge to Edge. Edge to Edge was also the color that I bought hoping that it would work with Too Faced Melted Peony, that color that I said would definitely need a lip liner, and it works pretty well. I'm still sort of playing around with it, but I definitely think it will be a good match for it. It's a little bit darker than Peony, but I think it will still work out. And then the next thing I got was actually a free lipstick that I got from the Back to Mac program. If you don't know what that is, then Google it and look it up. But I got a free lipstick and I got the shade Brave and it's a satin and it is just basically me and a lipstick. Like it is just so gorgeous. It's just that pretty like mauvey pink color. I just love those mauvey pinks, okay? Like don't sue me. It's just so pretty and it's just a really nice nude color on my lips. And so this is it swatched. So in my opinion, it kind of looks like it would pair well with edge to edge, funny enough. Um, even though it's not as pink as edge to edge, but it just, oh, it's just so pretty on the lips. I think I wore it in a video. I forget which video. I mentioned it in the video that I was wearing it, but I just, oh, it just looks so pretty. And I'm so happy that I got Brave. Okay, so the next couple of things that I got were from Sephora, and these were actually um, for different trips. So I didn't get all of this stuff at the same time. I got them at different times. So the first thing I got was actually when I was in Sephora on vacation and I got the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now this is the, the original HD foundation and I wanted to get this in Florida because I wasn't originally going to get anything at Sephora but when I heard that the HD foundation was getting a revamp and the Ultra HD foundation was coming out, I really wanted to finally buy this because I've been wanting to buy this for forever. I've tried samples of it and I've loved it. So here it is in the pump and this is pricey. It's expensive but it is definitely worth the money. It is one of my favorite foundations ever and I will savor this. Now I have heard the Ultra HD foundation is really great too, especially uh, from the people who said they loved the original HD foundation so I definitely will have to try the Ultra HD one. But I am glad I have the original two that I know that I love a lot. And the next thing that I got Sephora is another thing that is hyped on YouTube. And again, made by another YouTuber. You probably know what this is. It's the Becca Jaclyn Hill Highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I was debating about getting this for forever because I honestly don't highlight my face that much because... I have a natural highlight most of the time, but I've just heard that this highlighter just goes well with every skin tone and it just looks so pretty. I haven't tried this on my face yet, 
but I'm swatching it for the first time right now. Gosh, it's so pretty. So I definitely am still kind of learning the tips and tricks of highlighting my face, but I definitely want to give this a try. It is so pretty. Now it looks on my skin tone sort of golden a little bit, like it, it looks like a champagne color. So pretty accurate name I would say. It looks a little bit dark, so hopefully that still looks good on my skin. I think it definitely will. I mean, I paid a lot of money for that, so it better look good on my face. I also, I didn't buy this um, at Sephora at least in the past month, but I wanted to bring out Becca's Opal because I got this little sample in my Sephora Summer Favorites kit and I just wanted to compare it to Champagne Pop. And Opal is a really pretty color too. I don't know about you, but to me, they look quite similar. I mean, they're not exactly the same. If you're a makeup addict, you will see the difference. But to me, they look very similar. Opal looks a little bit more on the pink side, where Champagne Pop definitely looks more on kind of the gold warm side. So if that is your deciding factor there, I helped you. At least on my fair skin, that is how they appear to look on me. I've worn opal before and it looks really pretty but I definitely want to keep trying opal and, and try champagne pop. I definitely want to get highlighting slash strobing down so if you have any tips and tricks on highlighting especially for oily skin or any brushes you use then let me know in the comments section down below. Oh I just wanted to let you guys know that the HD foundation and the Becca highlighter were in se at separate times.